For decades now, Bill Nye has been known as television science guy, entertaining and educating young minds about the world around them and how it all works. As a mechanical engineer, he's used his platform to show how things work while encouraging viewers to get hands-on with science and engineering. So as a gamer, what could I possibly have in common with this scientific TV host? You know, aside from our love of bow ties. Look no further than the Nintendo Labo, the new Nintendo construction toy that uses cardboard alongside the Nintendo Switch and some good old engineering principles to create toy cons. There are many toy cons to choose from, like motorbikes and robots, but Bill decided to take things easy with some fishing. What I notice people, once they start fishing, they get, if I may, hooked. Yes. Get it? <laughs> so we gotta like drop the lure. There we go. I was getting a nibble. When you were working on the show, you know, back in the 90s, could you imagine video games progressing to this point? Yeah, gotta tell you, yes, I can imagine. The cardboard, though, is pretty cool. Yeah. I got a, I think it's probably gonna be a mackerel. Let's see what we got here. So it feels like, you know, you're um, reeling in and out, but you're not. It's all simulated. And these Joy-Con controllers have accelerometers in them that keep track of all this, of all the motion that you induce. It's crazy. <laughs> but when the fish strikes the hook, the, you feel the vibration yeah. in the handle. It's really a very cool idea. Bill's goal has always been to save the world by encouraging audiences to seek intelligent solutions to the problems that plague our world. We have 7.4 billion people. When I was a kid, we had 3 billion. My grandparents are fewer than 1.5 billion. Pretty soon there'll be nine and probably 10 billion people, and they're all gonna wanna eat something and live the way we live in the developed world, have their own Nintendo Labos. Yeah. So you're gonna need a technically savvy workforce. Can't just have people that can't, that don't know how all this technology works and be successful. So often, um, you know, on television, speaking out, advocating for, for science, and you always seem to maintain a, a positive, uh, optimistic outlook. You have to be optimistic or you're not gonna get anything done. Mm. You will not, if you think you cannot do something, you won't. I'm not talking about surprising yourself by accomplishing more than you thought you could, but if you don't think you will be able to feed nine billion people, then you won't. So what are your hopes for the near future? Three things, clean yeah. water, renewably produced electricity, and access to the internet for everyone in the world. Those are our goals. Let's go. Though it's a lofty goal, Bill hopes Nintendo Labo will inspire some young minds to take a more active interest in the field of science and engineering so we can be better prepared to tackle the problems that await us in the future. Getting people comfortable with electronics and mechanical things all at once with a mm -hmm. happy, friendly material.